Mr. President, do you think that uh, uh, Gorbachev will be willing to pursue start negotiations without linking it to Star Wars? Uh, I don't want to make any comments on that right now. It all begins in the morning, and I have some opening remarks here for our meeting here that I want okay. to give. So, anyway, well, thank you all for coming. What are your opening remarks? And uh, in less than 24 hours, I'll be welcoming General Secretary Gorbachev. As with, with our earlier meetings, we'll pursue a broad range of issues. The highlights of the summit will be the signing, I think, of the INF Treaty. I've always said that I'd rather have no treaty than one that doesn't add to our security and that of our allies. The INF Treaty meets that test. It's a solid accomplishment for the United States and our allies, and for the first time, we will reduce nuclear weapons rather than just limit their building. By having global limits, we'll make Asia as well as Europe more secure. We've done this without weakening the other elements of our defensive posture in Europe, and we'll have the toughest verification provisions of any treaty on the books. It's only because I know that I can get the candid views of America's military leaders that I can have confidence in the wisdom of going forward with this agreement. Our regular meetings to discuss our national security have been invaluable to me. I remember we talked about the issue of European security at our last meeting when we were joined by General Galvin, who's <coughs> now NATO's Supreme Allied Commander, and I'm looking forward to continuing that discussion. What I get from such discussions is that our security in Europe remain firmly linked, and we're going to keep it that way. In addition to signing a treaty that will eliminate an entire class of offensive nuclear missiles, I want to <clears throat> use the summit to move forward in other areas. I want to start agreement, but only if it's a good one, one we can verify and which enhances our security. At the same time, I want to set the stage for one day deploying effective defenses in a manner that will strengthen our strategic stability. Admiral Crow has given me your thoughts on how to move toward these goals in several recent meetings. But now, that's enough for me. I think it's time for me to listen to you. What are the prospects for a START agreement, uh, progress on a START agreement, Mr. President? Well, you know me, I'm always optimistic. Are you up to going one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Gorbachev? How do you feel? <clears throat> What's that? Are you up to going one-on-one -on -one with Mr. Gorbachev? As I, as I told you, he can't be tougher than Errol Flynn. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you what do you make of uh, some of the ugly things that the conservatives said last week about you? I don't think I'd better comment on that. All right. What do you think of books I, being written about you and your wife by your former aides? <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that either right now, but I think that it's time for us to start this meeting. Thanks, please. Limited in time. Thanks, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Will you comment later? Thank you. Hello, Mr. President. Shall I show my sister's office? I'd like to introduce you to Patty Austin. Hello there. Good to see you again. Hello, See, you're still working. <laughs> still working. And Cheryl Mills. Cheryl Mills. We know each other. The yes. president of Germany, and then a couple of years ago, the Kennedy Center. That's right. Yes. Good, Good to, to see you again. And his daughter, Erin Mills. Hi. Hello, Erin. Good to see you. Hello, Erin. Good to see you. Erin. Good to see you. Erin. Good to see you. Good to see you. President of the Pageant of Peace, Joe Riley. Mr. President, yes. Hi. How are you? Good to see you. It's fine. Good to see you. And Richard Robson, who's yes. also worked in the Pageant of Peace. Hello, Erin. It looks like you've been in Santa Barbara. I have. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, if I have a group here together, I think they should have us come. We seem that way. Maybe some of them that way. Yeah, I know. Joe, I think it's time. Over there. The ladies over there, let's balance it out here. Yeah, Joe, right. That's great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Well, well, listen, I think it's wonderful what you're doing, and I'm sorry that I can't go down there. I push the button. Oh, the White House. Yeah. 
take it. We're sorry, sorry that somebody might come to shoot Santa Claus and get me by myself. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> Willard's a, a pretty big target. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, well, it's sensational. You sort of take this time and really? what you have really? coming up. Really? It's, a, it's really, amazing. Really, really appreciate it. I think all of us wish you the most successful next three or four days Amen. for the world, Amen. for the United States and the world. So thank you very much. Yeah. Maybe we are going to have some progress. We have a lot of confidence in you, all of us. America does. And I think it's significant today with the 46th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. We couldn't solve it then, but maybe you can solve it now. See, I have some optimism there. I, I can't help but believe that maybe Chernobyl has given them a first hand look at what happens. And you know that whole thing yeah. in Chernobyl, 135,000 people. They can't go back and move the way they do. Radioactivity and all. And uh, that disaster was less than one single warhead from a nuclear missile. Yeah. Mm. That sends loose flesh all over. So I'm hoping that maybe that's steering them. Yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How's the music? She's fine. She looks so pretty. I so much just want to go. Well, thank you. Take care. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. My fellow citizens, the 1987 pageant of peace has a special significance this year. The lighting of the national Christmas tree with its star of peace atop could not come at a more symbolic moment. Two hours ago, General Secretary Gorbachev's plane touched down on American soil. I invited him to come and discuss ways in which we can reduce the tensions between our two countries. He and I will meet in hopes of promoting peace for our peoples and all the people of the earth. I hope the General Secretary is watching this on TV. I'd like him to see what we're celebrating, because for us, Christmas, celebrates the cause of peace on earth, goodwill toward men. Peace on earth, goodwill toward men. I cannot think of a better spirit in which to begin the meetings of the next several days. As a small reminder of that spirit, a star of peace atop the national Christmas tree will be lit day and night during the time our Soviet guests are here. And as we look out from the White House during our discussions, let the star remind us why we've gathered and what we seek. In Luke chapter 10, verse 5, we read, Peace be to this house. That blessing is most appropriate over the next several days. And with that said, Tommy Valenti will light the national Christmas tree and let the star of peace shine for all of us.
You'll hear them in the morning. Bye. What are they about, sir? Two words on what? Our meetings. You want a second treaty for a Christmas gift? <laughs> no, I'll take what we're going to have. you hadn't seen, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. This is my sister, Helena Scales. Well, hello there. Nice to, nice to meet you. Well, good to meet you. Well, why don't we uh, get in here for a little family picture? Okay. A group. Excellent. You want to like this? Yeah. If you can face this way and stay right there. No, it's very nice. We'll smile. Yeah. <laughs> Would you? One more. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mr. President, I have something else for you today, if I may. Uh, if I can find it. Just a moment. The military office uh, has ways of doing things that we don't always want to ask about. But I was able to get a uh, Soviet fender flag from their limousine, so, and of course an American fender flag. And we're all hopeful that these will find a place perhaps in your library. I'm okay. sure they will. Well, I thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, and uh, these are just two little souvenirs of the Oval Office. Oh, and a souvenir, strictly a souvenir of this office and its history. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. I hope you enjoy the day.